to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm in my mum's garden and I have my bare feet in the grass. It feels really good. I've got the dew all on my feet and it's freezing cold, which is also really good. And my mum told me that this practice of putting your feet in the morning dew in India is considered to really benefit the eyes and I've just been doing it for the last two or three days and <clears throat> truly my headaches, I was getting regular headaches and top of my spine has had problems and I'm going to get some acupuncture done soon but which I've never tried so I'm excited to try that but I can honestly tell you this practice of putting my feet in the dew has been helping my headaches and it's been helping me ground it's really really helped me ground I don't have this luxury back home in London I don't have a garden um, I have a park nearby which is a 10 minute walk so what I'm going to do when I get back is I'm going to go to that park and I've been barefoot in that park a lot but I'm going to do it specifically early in the morning with the morning dew that I've never done. I've hugged a lot of trees. I have um, I've gone for a jog in that park. I've done all these various healthy kind of things, but I've never done this morning dew thing. And this is wonderful. I really, really stress that you should just have a look. Get the feet in the morning dew. <laughs> Don't know, yeah, I don't think you can see the dew, but it's definitely there. Such a good practice. So I really recommend that for this time, especially with Mars Rahu coming together. I know I'm going to be doing it every day. Last night I was having trouble sleeping. So here's another use of this practice. I was having trouble sleeping. I was up at about 3 a.m. Um, had all these ideas in my head. I actually did a bit of meditation, which it's a good time to do it if you wake up at that time do some meditation so I didn't need to do it this morning I just came out here and um, while I was kind of in bed awake because it's very hard to ground when you're in bed and you're horizontal very difficult I just thought of me standing here and that's why when I get back to London I'm going to like I've now always got this memory to refer to it's in my muscle memory i know how cold and wet it feels so i can always just refer to it and i've been noticing during the day when i want to ground what i used to do in london was i would just walk deliberately outside and i'd feel my feet touching the earth and i'd kind of bounce a bit and get the energy down 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 into the legs um, and as people interested in stellar stuff as we are we need to do some grounding so that's one spiritual practice. Um, oh yeah, and I was saying that like, when I go to London, I'm going to do it again just to build it into my muscle memory so that, you know, if I'm stuck somewhere or... Um, and in London, it's especially important because the number of EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, and the noise there is huge. Um, in my apartment, I've got a lot of organite and I made it. Organite is wonderful. I recommend making it yourself if you can. Make your own organite as well. I might make some more when I go back. But another spiritual practice I have for you today is a very, very basic one. And I'm going to try and up the um, coaching style content and tips and things over this Mars Rahu period. I'm going to try and deliver more to you guys because I think we need more of these messages especially over the month of June so I'm going to try and do more of this content um, another spiritual what do I want to call this like a a micro practice right I'm going to call it a micro spiritual practice don't know what it'll be in the title but we'll find out um, I was chatting with a lovely lady who is my friend she lives in Hawaii she's a healer by profession and she used to do a lot of healing type work on me but now we're just friends we just chat and I was on Skype with her the other day I think it was last Monday and I was telling her because we, we always tell each other what we're up to and what kind of spiritual things we're working on or how we're growing or whatever and I said to her well you won't believe what I'm doing I said I'm just doing really basic stuff at the moment like 
when it's really cold, I'm learning how to accept it. And I just thought that was trivial and embarrassing. But I said that to her and she said to me, oh, no, no, no. She said, you don't underestimate the power of that. And I was like, wow, because she's really advanced on this path and she can, she's psychic and she can do all kinds of things. And, um, and, but she's a really quiet nature person. She doesn't go out too much and she's not like famous or, though I think one day you know I think one day everyone will be but anyway um, but basically she said to me no, no no don't underestimate that she said that's such an important spiritual practice and she said because what you're doing is even in the most trivial circumstances and situations you're taking control and I thought wow because I, I said to her that when it's really cold in the house because it's not like in, apartment living is so different it's like in my apartment I'm super warm and I hardly ever feel any cold and it's just too, it's like a bubble. And being in a rambling house, you know, is a different experience. I haven't done it for a really long time. So I said to her that like when it's really cold and I'm in the bathroom and what I'm doing is I'm just saying to my body, I'm noticing my body tense up and then I'm going, oh, I'm tense, ah, oh, relax. And I just relax into it and I go, hey, it's cold. I accept the cold, I'll relax. What's wrong with cold? It's fine. And I, so I'm re deliberately relaxing my body when it's cold, right? That's my latest spiritual practice. And I honestly thought it was a silly, trivial thing, but she said to me, no, no, no. She said, if you can achieve that in the tiniest of places, in the smallest of spaces, in the, in the smallest moments, then you're doing something really big. And I thought, wow, and I thought, okay, because it's another way of taking your power back. And it's one of the reasons, this is another trivial thing that I'll share, it's popped into my head. It's one of the reasons I bought a sewing machine and I was teaching myself how to sew, but I'm not very good at it. I don't have a talent, and, but I was teaching myself to sew because I was like on this mission, this was some years ago, to take my power back from corporations and, you know, that kind of thing. But I buy clothes, so, you know, I don't make them. I wish I had the talent for it. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm sure I'm sure Karl Lagerfeld would be very proud of my my sweat top today. Uh, <laughs> Karl, if you're watching, please. I haven't lost control of my life. You know, he said sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You lost control of your life, so you bought some sweatpants. Firstly, this is not a sweatpants; it's a sweat top. So I think I'm I think I'm not doing too badly. All right, I'm rambling now, aren't I? But I'm going to try, guys, and keep a little bit more in touch. Do a little bit more content. Do a little bit more motivational coaching positive content um, over this next couple of weeks because I think we all need it I know I need it look at me I'm grounding I've got my feet in the dew and I'm loving it and there's leaves and it's sticky and but it's cold as well very good very good to be cold now and then. okay and I can just see it's eight minutes so I better turn this off thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time Thank you.